So what's going on guys and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to get your bow upgraded to a fire elemental upgrade. It's an absolutely insane upgrade and is part of the main easter egg where you need to get all of the bows upgraded. I have easter egg guides on how to get all of the bows upgraded on my channel and you'll find links to all of them down below in the description as well as a playlist link. Now if this video helps you out make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this but anyway let's get straight into this. So if you don't already have have the original bow, the Wrath of the Ancients, there'll be a tutorial in the description to teach you how to get that bow. You need to get the original bow before we can do any upgrading. Once you do have that, we can begin. So what you want to do is go to the top of the bell tower and you want to shoot the wall with your bow which will reveal a new quest line which is for the fire bow. Pick that up and then we can actually begin the upgrade process. Now if you pick this up, you won't be able to do any other quest lines to upgrade the other ones unless you choose to so you'll set on this path now what you want to do is you want to go to the rocket facility which can be done by either launching over there or taking the main teleporter and you want to play around in that area and wait until a test rocket is about to begin you want to run inside the doors and hold off in there and wait until it's over. Now as soon as the doors reopen and the rocket test is finished, you want to run up and you want to shoot this strange object up above that I'm showing you on screen with the bow and this will cause a huge ball of fire to float up towards the castle. Now from this step onwards, around the map, there'll be faded ritual circles and there are three of them in total and one of them is next to the bell tower, one of them is in front of the death ray and one is in front of double tap now you need to take the wonder spheres which are the launch pads to launch you towards these circles and you must shoot them with an arrow in mid-air whilst being flung towards them they are not easy by any means so take your time and be sure to save up your points because it can be quite costly to use a lot of these wonder spheres so the launchers you need to use to get these three circles are the rocket test launcher, the death ray launcher, the launcher above double tap and the launcher next to the church. Using a combination of all of these will allow you to see these circles and when you're jumping in midair these circles will actually be lit up and you need to fire an arrow directly in the circle to cause it to be permanently lit up. Once you've managed to get all three of these circles lit up, we can begin with the next step. Now, you need to stand inside each of these circles, you'll hear these weird voices talking to you, and you need to kill zombies to collect their souls whilst you're standing in the circle. And you need to keep collecting these souls until there's a huge burst of flame that comes from out of the circle and goes towards the huge ball of the sky. So the best method that I've mentioned in this video is to start with the one next to the bell tower, then make your way to the death ray, and then finish finish off at the circle by double tap. Now once you've done that you want to make your way up to the bell tower and hold square or X on the original wall that you broke and it will cause some cogs to spin around inside and will eventually stop spinning to reveal a lit up apothecan sign. Now around the map there are going to be three fireplaces, there's one in the church area where all the weird screens are, there's a one in the hut in the dragon's head location near double tap and I'll show you where exactly that is in the video because that's the one that I managed to use and there's a fireplace in the room opposite Samantha's room which is Eddie's room. Now when you use the cogs in the bell tower you'll see a symbol in Apothecan and you need to find the fireplace around the map which has the exact same symbol. Once you've found that you need to charge an arrow straight dead center in the fireplace in the center of the Apothecan symbol and what should happen after that is a max ammo should spawn along with fire inside the fireplace. Give it a few seconds and then hold square or X and you should pick up the fire. Now we're on to the last step and what you need to do is you need to get a single zombie and shoot it with the bow directly in front of the huge fireball in front of the death ray. The fireball should now not be in the sky and it should be literally almost on ground level. You want to get a single zombie and shoot it with the bow directly in front of this huge fireball and hold square. You'll hear some sort of character quote and then by looking at the ball and holding square or X the ball should float up and then literally explode in this crazy ball of fire and it should 
should drop the reforged arrow. Now we can get onto the final step where you need to go down to the undercroft section and place your arrow in the firebox in the keeper ritual area which is the massive pyramid. There's going to be four little boxes and one of them is labelled with the symbol of the bow that we have. Once that's placed in there you need to collect zombie souls around that area near that in order to fill up and charge this arrow. Once it's complete and no more souls are being entered into the arrow you need to simply put your wrath of the ancients in the box literally place it where the arrow is give it a few moments and you will have the upgraded fire bow now this thing is amazing this is stand up my favorite along with the storm bow as this thing literally wrecks if you just shoot it normally it will shoot flames that will literally obliterate zombies and if you charge it down it actually uses a combination of fire and earth where it actually traps the zombies with like earth that comes out of the ground and also flames which kills them which i think is really really awesome let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this upgraded bow which one is your favorite let me know but if you enjoyed the video like i mentioned give this video a like rating i'm sure it's very very helpful and make sure to subscribe i have a ton of videos on my channel there'll be a playlist link down below where you'll find a ton of my De Eisendrack videos but thank you for watching and I'll catch you on another one soon.